Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie from With Love Brie, and today I have a Joann's haul. Um, so let's go ahead and just get to it. Um, the Park Lane, like the cardstock, was all 40% off, 50% off. So I picked up two of the White Core 110 pound smooth cardstock. Um, there's a White Core and a smooth core, or like, I'm oh, sorry, a white core and a smooth. Um, and what the smooth is, because I saw it here, it said smooth or something like that. Um, they're darker than these ones. These ones are more pastel, so I, of course, I chose these ones. The thing about white core also is that, I mean, obviously, the center, when you cut it, it's going to be white. Um, I don't mind that. These are perfect, actually, for card bases, especially because it's 110. I've never seen 110 pound white core paper from them so I don't know if these are new but all of them were all like somewhat open except this one and as you guys can tell I mean the two front sheets are different I don't know like if someone went through this or what but I'm gonna show you guys um, kind of how they look so this right here oh well, that threw me off. This is the actual pink. <laughs> you can't really tell, but one is lighter. So this one's lighter. This is darker. And this is the actual pink that comes in it. But as you guys can see, it's white right here. So it is a really good weighted cardstock, not going to lie, though. So I think I'm going to use these for card bases, mainly. Um, but the colors are just so pretty. And if I end up liking how they die cut too, I might actually use these as pieces for me to die cut. But you get a really pretty array of colors. So those are some yellows and pinks. And then you get a darker yellow. greens, blues, and then the back is like a light purple, a really light purple. So, there's that. So, I got two of those. I don't know how much these, I think these were like $19.99 or something. Um, so I did grab that, and then I did grab Kalea some sticker books. You guys, they're like, Michael's stopped making these, and they were 99 cents. Um, so I get them from Joann's now, and they're $1.49. They didn't have very many. I did get her an alphabet one, which she already played with, but I just got her a bunch of these mermaid ones, because I thought they were the cutest thing. She's loved stickers since before she was a year old, so that's a sign, I think, that she's going to be into, like... <laughs> crafting because <laughs> she loves coloring she I mean what kid doesn't love coloring but she loves stickers and she loves watching uh crafting YouTube videos so I think that's the cutest thing so I got that and then <laughs> I bought a I saw this new like Disney planner uh collection and it was like right up my alley I didn't realize so these were both from two different trips. I did not realize I already picked up these planners, so now I got two of each one. But I'm not mad about it because these planners are actually undated, so I can actually use them in two different years. I'm hoping that like I can get into planning and stick to it because I was into it last December, and then when I had the baby, it just, I totally forgot about it. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys the planners and then I'll show you guys what I got for them. But I got the mini size 12 month planner. And like I said, I got two of them because these were from different trip, um, yeah, trips. And they were, these were 50 or 30% off. Sorry guys, I don't remember. Oh, they're 50% off, yeah. And then I got two of the pink ones. Cause if y'all know me, I love Disney and pink. And this pink is not like dark or anything, it's a blush soft pink. So, of course, I had to grab, you know, well, I guess two, but I'm not mad about it. Because usually I'd be like, okay, I might have to return these, but these ones I don't mind. As you guys can see, these are the cutest things. So, 
don't know. Should I do a flip through of these? I mean, my my channel is not really a planner channel, but I guess we'll just quickly flip through them. I don't know what the inside looks like, so it's going to be interesting. I'll just cut this off, I guess. Okay. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, there's black and gold. These ones have like little um, dots on them. And this is the horizontal one, which I really like. I like having these lines in there. And then on the back, they always have a monthly goals, upcoming tasks, or like for a new month, and then they have the birthdays and holidays. So yeah, it's the same. Life is meant for good friends and great times. The world needs your special kind of magic. Happy times are ahead. Positively busy. Oh, <laughs> so cute. And then this one just has Mickey heads. You can decorate this one yourself. Never be afraid to dream big and chase your dreams. Real magic happens when you are positively you. Dreaming with confidence and it has a really cute mini mouse. It's a great day for a great day. You guys can skip all this if you don't care for the planner. But it is really pretty. And then always follow your heart. And it has a little Mickey head in gold. Oh my goodness. Okay, so there's that. I'm glad I picked that up because honestly that is the cutest planner ever. And then the smaller one, is it different? No, they're all the same, it looks like. Yeah, so I'm not going to go through it because they're all the same. But this is just a smaller size. Um, if you guys see my Michaels haul, I picked up a punch. I don't think the punch actually works on this one because they're much smaller. I think it works for this. <gasps> I bought the punch and I just realized that this, these are squares. Or not squares, but um, they're horizontal. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. Alright, so anyway... So there are the planners, and then I picked up, of course, the sticker books. So the sticker books, I've already flipped through this one, I think, on my Michaels haul. I didn't realize I picked that up from Joann's. But I also got the Grand and Mini, and this is a coordinating one with this collection, I'm assuming. But there's just so much gold and so much pink. This big one right here. Cute. But yeah, I'm not going to flip through all these just because they're like slowly. But you get the gist. They're all Disney themed. I know not everyone's a Disney fan, but I am. So. I'm excited about this. Look how cute these boxes are. So, yeah. There's that one. And then the mini one just has, like, um, smaller scaled stickers. Oh, this one's so cute. Look at the little mini squares. They're all separate. Love them. kind of wish I was planning Kalea's birthday in my planner, because... Um, even the couple weeks before that for Mother's Day when I went to Disneyland because these would have been perfect. Okay. It's not like we don't go all the time anyway. So there are those fun little sticker books. And then I found this plastic envelope pack. And they're literally just little envelopes for the planner. But they look like this. So I won't open those. Um, just because, I mean, you could see the design there. And then this is a planner accessory pack. You get stickers, fo a folder, sticky notes, and a bookmark, and no paper. Okay, 
And then I did grab two of the undated vertical extension packs. So you can add additional months to your um, planner. And so using these, which I've used before with the Maggie Holmes one. So I picked up two of the Minnie Mouse or the Disney themed ones because, again, the only thing that I realized about this one is that it's for the larger um, planner. Oh gosh. Well, that's embarrassing. This one I can actually cut apart, which I don't mind because I could just cut off what I don't need. But I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I can use this for something else. I have planner discs, so I can always create my own. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I was just too excited to see this. Does this fit in here? Okay, this fits. Anyway, so I got all that. Okay, and then um, I did pick up these Mickey Mouse buttons. I've never seen these before. But are these not the cutest thing? Um, you get 2.5 ounces, and you get just the OG red, yellow, black, and white. So I grabbed a pack of those. Okay, and then from the Heidi Swap, these were all 30% off. I have the Heidi Swap storyline albums and those albums are kind of like um, a scrapbook album but it has little metal um, wires or not wires but um, let me see if I can grab one okay so I have uh, four of these albums I have three of the pink and one of the black um, and gold and inside you have like these little uh, metal pieces and what you can do is you can take these little journals and you can actually put these journals inside of here and use them, kind of like a traveler's notebook. And you just put them uh, the center of the book with in between this. And you can have up to two, four, six, eight, nine books. Yeah, nine books in one of these. So if you do a lot of dimensionals and stuff like that, it might get a little bit thicker. But um, I just, I've always wanted this specific set because of the journals as you can see there's a pink and white stripe which is this one a black polka dot on a white background and then this floral print so I really wanted this set I've been eyeing it for a while so I grabbed four packs of them because every time I go there they're always sold out of it um, and I've always loved Heidi Swap so I went ahead and I grabbed a bunch of those for my stash to create with on this album Okay, and then I have more stuff. I have to go and grab them. I didn't have enough space, so I'll be right back. Okay, so these were on sale for 60% off. And they are these Bloom Spring Accessories. Uh, they were originally $6.99, but they're like 2 bucks with 60% off. So I picked up three packs of these because I really love this pink color. You can definitely get rid of the green. Um, and these add a lot of dimension to your projects. I love making tags using these and even cards. If you're doing like a handoff card or if you're sending it with a package, you can definitely use these in that. So I did grab three of them for my stash. I really love the pink. So I got those. And then I also, this is Kalea's. I bought this for <laughs> Look how cute this is. She was like in love with this thing. So. It was cute when she saw all the paper when we got into the like in the paper section. Her reaction was priceless. She had to get out of her stroller. There was no way of me keeping her in there. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I got more Tim Holtz stuff. Um, I got the mini distress sprayer. I don't know if I have this one or the larger one. I'm really hoping I don't have the small one. But this is only two and a quarter inches, and this is perfect if you're making cards. You can use this to like actually um, press down the paper. Um, onto the card base, so I just picked this one up. I also picked up an embossing folder from Park Lane. I really love this really tiny dot, and I think this is like a four by six, four and a quarter by five and three quarters. A little bit smaller, perfect for a layering piece. I don't really use my embossing folders as much, but I always like to grab them when I see them because I do go to them here and there. Um, so I did grab that. And then I grabbed this bubblegum craft cut glitter. I just love this white and pink mix. So I was going to get two small vials and then I saw this large one and it was cheaper to get this one. So um, I grabbed this right here. 
That was in the kids section. Um, and then for the Tim Holtz stuff, I swear that I grabbed more of these, but I got the Distress Paint in Kitsch Flamingo, which is one of my favorite pinks, Cracked Pistachio, and then Carved Pumpkin. So I grabbed those, um, this pack. I think these were 50% off. No, all the light like, designer, I think collections, what they call it, uh, they were 30% off. So I got that set, and then I also got the... Walnut Stain Picket Fence in Black Soot. I really love these two colors, but for brown, this is a great brown color too. So I went ahead and I grabbed this set as well. And then the only Distress uh, Stains that I got is the Kitsch Flamingo and Salvage Patina. But like I said, I'm trying to own everything from Tim Holtz, so at least for his inks. So I went ahead and I grabbed this set. Two of my favorite colors too, so I'm glad they put these together. And I noticed that they're starting to carry a lot of his Distress Mixed Media mediums. So I got a Grit Paste in Translucent. Texture Paste in Translucent, which is basically transparent. Like you can kind of see through it. Grit Paste in Opaque. Which is more of like a white. It's just a plain white color. I got two of the opaque colors. Well, I guess I got three. That was an accident. Um, mica flakes, which the mica flakes are, I don't know if you guys can see, just really chunky. You can use these to add to all of these here, or you can even sprinkle it on top before it dries. And then I got another texture paste, and this one is actually opaque. I think I meant to grab two of the texture paste in opaque, but I forgot. there's all that and then um, I also grabbed some of the newer collections that are there um, let me just show you guys these before the paper since it's already here so oh I did get texture paste too oh, yeah I got the two texture paste no okay. cake okay and then um, I saw that Bow Bunny has a collection there and it's called uh, Willow and Sage and Beautiful Things so I got two of the crafty dots and they're just these glitter enamel dots. Oh, these were so cute. Loved the colors. So I got those, and then I picked up these flower sequins. There was only three of them, but you guys, they're so pretty. Do you see these? So there's a white color, and then there's this like really pretty pink, and they're iridescent. Let me see if I can get some of them to show. So I got three packs of those, really pretty set. And then of course I had to grab Heidi Swap Sun Chaser. I saw the colors at first, I was like, no, I'm not gonna get it, but you know what, I couldn't, I couldn't say no. So I grabbed the, uh, just one set of the cardstock stickers because a lot of it is more for journaling. She is a scrapbooker documenter. So I just picked up a set of those. And then I got two of the stickers. I'll flip through these the sticker books. Oh, well, I guess the back shows you. You can pause and take a uh, look at them. And then I got three packs of the ephemera. Oops, that one didn't, I didn't mean to flip that out. And this is how the ephemera looks. so pretty so I got all those and then I did grab the papers so let me go ahead and grab the papers really quick okay so the only thing they had from the round trip sorry I realized I picked this up um, was one of the cardstock stickers which honestly I knew that they had the round trip collection because I was on the app and I saw it available however um, I wasn't expecting to go to the store to find a lot so I found one of these and I picked that up and then I picked up one of the stationary sets um, and then I did grab some of the papers as well so let me show you guys these are not organized because I had Kalea, I mean I had both the babies with me, 
and I was just kind of putting them in the stroller trying to keep an eye on Kalea because she was grabbing papers. Um, so I had to make sure that she wasn't making a mess. But I did get the round trip vellum. I don't know if I picked this up when I picked up the collection. I haven't put that haul out yet, but they're just these gold vines. I swear I've seen this in one of her other collections, but I picked up a bunch of these because they were like a dollar something. I think I picked up like eight of them. There was a lot there, so I grabbed those. Um, and then, yeah, here's another one. So I did get those. Um, I'm going to set those aside. I'm not going to be able to have all the paper on here. I did grab quite a bit of the Wanderlust paper. I scanned my papers pretty quick too. Usually it takes a while, but it should be pretty good. So, I picked up quite a bit of these ones because I really love this floral print. So I grabbed a bunch of these so that way I can use them on everything. And the back has just this purple, uh, like gingham print. And then I also grabbed the paper with the airplanes. I only grabbed like three or four of these ones. But I really loved the pink airplanes. And then just the diagonal stripe. Again, another one of these. So that's that. Okay, and then everything else is from Sun Chaser. So this paper right here called Chillax, like a hand-painted rainbow. And it has a ledger in the back with a rainbow border on just the left and bottom portion. That's random. Okay. <laughs> and then there's this cacti, um, sorry, there's this cacti pattern called Sedona. I've actually gone to Sedona and I love it. Um, and then the black and white stripe. I always love Heidi Swap's black and white stripe. This is like a grayish, uh, like distressed stripe. And then it has some like washi tape of that rainbow pattern. And you guys, this is how you know Kalei was just throwing things underneath. She loves throwing things in the cart or in her stroller. Um, cause I use the bottom of her stroller to hold stuff since it's big. And look it. Like, <laughs> she can have that. I don't know what she's going to do with it, but she can have it. Um, okay, and then, I'm trying to get through this here. It's getting pretty late, and she's still sleeping. Okay, and then there's this rainbow sheet. And look at this cute, like, watercolored rainbow pattern. This one looks like, um, like, this sheet right here looks more like acrylic, like if she were to use acrylic paint, and then this one looks more like watercolor, because it looks more like transparent. So, there's that one. And then I grabbed a couple sheets of this fruit one. And here's the back, just some orange and pink. And I think they had the 6x8 paper pad. I thought I grabbed it, but I guess I didn't. Um, and I thought I grabbed more of this one too, but I didn't. Another, like, painted um, pattern. And then another ledger. This one's pink. She has tags and, like, uh, little journaling cards. Look at these tags. So cute for summer. And this is the back. I loved this pink with the polka dots, so of course I had to grab a bunch of those. I know I grabbed more after. Uh, I already grabbed some. Oh yeah, right here. I grabbed three more. Just because I realized that there were cut apart, so that's that one. And then this is a popsicle pattern. They're so fun. They look like they were used with alcohol inks and stuff, the way that they were kind of spread out. Sorry, yeah. And then some of them look even like they're tie-dye. So, there's that one. And then the back is just this, like, looks like a blue tie-dye pattern. Looks like the sky. And then there's this sheet right here with um, these half circles. Well, not half circles, but they're like circles with um, two different colors on them. 
I didn't realize I only grabbed two of those. These ones, this one's a really pretty pattern. I wasn't too fond of the back. It looks like a zebra print, <laughs> but I really do love this sheet. And then, of course, oh yeah, I did grab more. They're right here. Um, but anyway, this one right here, the sunburst, perfect for a 12 by 12 layout at the beach. And then I love the colors too. They give me like really retro-y like color vibes. I don't know. And then this polka dot pattern. And like I said, I think I grabbed a bunch of these ones, so. Okay, and a couple more, so I did grab. You guys, these were 99 cents, but they were on sale for 79, so such a great deal. And then this rainbow stripe with the white stripes in between. It looks like there was like painter's tape and then they just, uh, she painted or whoever designed it, painted it. Pretty sure she did, but that and then rainbows on the back. Love this mustard yellow and then it has just white thin line rainbows. Really cute. And then the last sheet from this collection is this white script on a black background. And then this right here. This one's cute too for a 12 by 12 sheet uh, like layout. Love that. And then I did pick up some cardstock because I love getting my cardstock from there. Here's another one of these. So um, I just picked up some pink because I need to uh, refill up my pink. <laughs> so I get basil pink icing because it's a really thick 110 pound weight cardstock and it's 12 by 12. And then I also get. You guys, they did not, I, they've been sold out of their pink cardstock. I don't know if they're not going to have it anymore or what, but I haven't seen my two favorite pinks. Um, this one's my favorite. This one is kind of-ish my favorite, but it's called Guava Sensation. It's more of like a purplish pink. And Cotton Candy is another one of my favorites. So, pink icing and Cotton Candy. And Cotton Candy, there was only two, and I've gone to Joanne's three times, and I haven't seen it. So... I only got two sheets of the cotton candy, which is my first fave, and then pink icing would be my second because it's a lighter shade, as you can see. But I was able to find pink icing a couple times, just not as much as I would like. I usually stock up on those two colors. But this one I grabbed because I needed it for a project, um, but definitely these two are recommended. So I did grab those, and then I also got the last thing here is the project pad from Sun Chaser. So, um, I haven't really seen what was in here. I'm just gonna open it up. So here's the front. It has like a rose gold. I don't know if you guys can see the um, foiling. So she has a full sheet of stickers, and you guys, it's like a really thick sticker too, cardstock sticker. And it all has foiling. Another sheet of stickers, I've never seen two sheets of stickers. So pretty, I can't wait to use these. And then all of these sheets look like they have some kind of foiling on them, because the other sheets don't. So this is like a mint green background with some stars rainbow heart with rose gold foiling. Look how pretty this is. Pink with a bunch of rose gold dots. And then some suns and again rose gold. Journaling card cut aparts. This one is like a rainbow but it just has the red, orange, and yellow. More of the warm colors. I love this thick stripe some fruits, another hand painted like kind of wavy pattern, rainbow pattern. I love this tone on tone like mint green and then it kind of goes up into a darker green color and a cloud. I know she had a cloud vellum sheet, you know the pink cloud and that was definitely sold out. 
one's really cute too. And then a pink like gingham print. Look at these cute, they remind me of rainbows. And I love this hint of black polka dots. I love having black polka dots in projects, so I thought this paper was adorable. I wish she had single sheets of that one. This one looks, reminds me kind of like a honeycomb. They're like little flowers. No foiling on this one either. So there's half foiled, half not, because the other ones are all just solid colors. Um, solid colors. But look at this really cute heart print too. And then these are just coordinating color papers. So a bunch of different pinks. And then you got some oranges. Again, a lot of warm colors. But she did include like, you know, the greens and blues. that's the project pad. I got two of those. I might have to grab another one because, you guys, this one's so pretty. The other one was cut up into, so I was like, uh, no thanks. Um, so that is that. That is a sun chaser. I know project pads, I think, are only for Joann's. I think. I don't think you can get these on scrapbook.com or anything. Um, so definitely if you can order them, order them. Order them because they are really pretty. Um, but that is it for my haul today. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I picked up and hope you guys can grab whatever you saw um, still on sale. Um, the planners, if you guys don't plan but want to and you are a Disney fan, grab that planner because it is adorable, especially if you like pink and gold. So um, anyway, I hope that you guys have a great day, whatever day it is that you guys are watching this, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.